Welcome back to the pregame show. The Rough Riders taking on the Tulsa Drillers for the middle game of the series, and I'm joined by yesterday's starting pitcher, Nick Martinez. Nick, a couple starts under your belt here in Double A, both of them pretty similar. Uh, one one earned run in each outing, uh, including your start last night. Uh, how have you been able to adjust to the to the level so well? Good start for you. Well, coming up here, I've had, I was able to talk to Jeff Andrews, our pitching coach, and get a get a good feel of what uh, the type of hitting team that uh, Tulsa is. And, and usually, I take some notes on hitters before I face them, but uh, Unfortunately, I didn't have those notes, so I got to communicate with some of the guys and, and talk to the pitching coach, and uh, I worked from there. And uh, one of the advantages of not having notes is the other team hasn't seen me either, so it's kind of kind of balances out. As far as the rest of the pitching staff, uh, guys that you got good tidbits from, who who has a good uh, understanding of the drillers that really helped you out outside of Jeff Andrews? Oh man, I mean, I can go up and down this whole team. I I, I was picking everyone's head um, from the starters to relievers, everybody. I I mean, up and down the whole. The whole roster. How much did it throw your game off yesterday when they had all the changes at the lineup? Uh, they they nearly played their entire team out there yesterday, and a lot of them were early. So guys that were expected to get three, four plate appearances just had one. Uh, I think that works to my advantage. Usually, you get a guy uh, after facing him once or twice, he gets starts to get your rhythm and uh, uh, you get your timing. And whenever you get a new guy in there, it's uh, I think the advantage is uh, leaning towards your way. Here with starting pitcher Nick Martinez. And Nick, it was the first time I had a chance to see you in person yesterday. Seemed to have a really good feel for pitching, especially being a converted uh, infielder uh, your days in college. You sequenced well last night, good repeatable command, uh, mechanics, and really hit both sides of the plate really well. You and Butler both did. Uh, considering that you were a converted guy, that you played second base mostly in college, what's your explanation for how you've been able to pick up the art of pitching so quickly? Um I got a, uh, all the pitching coaches I've worked with. I mean, when I came into the organization, my mind was a sponge. I was absorbing every type of knowledge from every pitching coach we had, uh, from the bottom all the way to the top. Uh, even my first year, my first instructs, I talked to Jeff Andrews and tried to pick his mind. And I worked uh, my rookie year. Even in rookie ball, uh, my pitching coach, Ryan O'Malley, helped me out a ton with sequences, especially I'd sit in the dugout with him and just go over sequences. Even if the pitcher on the mound wasn't throwing them, I would just talk to him and, and come up with different situations and work with him off, off sequences. So how have you changed as a college pitcher to now as far as sequencing goes? What's a lot different about your game and how you attack hitters? <sighs> well, first I've developed uh, pitches in college. I really just threw fastball slider. Um, didn't throw a single changeup. So that was uh, project number one coming into pro ball. I had to develop a changeup, and I think I've come a long way since then. Um, working with pitching coaches like Brad Holman, he helped me out a lot, and Storm Davis uh, helped me with my changeup also. And uh, – just I think developing my pitches has helped me and focusing, you know, one pitch at a time and, and I think that's what's helped me a lot. Have your mechanics changed at all? You you almost look like a position player out there on the mound. You have a big wide open stance that you often see from shortstops or second basemen who come in. Has that changed at all? Because you still have that look to you. I haven't changed one bit from my mechanics. They've been the same since I picked up uh, baseball and got to the mound. Have the Rangers wanted to tinker with it at all and, and you fought back or is it just kind of worked for them and worked for you? Um, it's kind of worked for them, worked for me. Just some minor tweaks, like maybe, you know, where I set my feet up or, or just very minor mechanics they've tweaked, but uh, nothing drastic. And a tough matchup for you to draw in your first two starts. You talked about facing the drillers, but the pitcher on the other side, Eddie Butler, uh, really kept the Rough Riders off balance and made it tough for you to pick up the win. Uh, is it a little bit difficult knowing that you pitch so well in both outings, but you still don't have a win to show for it here in Double A? Um, no, it's not frustrating at all. I, I don't think, uh, I mean, just your, your job is to go out there and, and pitch your butt off and give your, uh, uh, your team a chance to win. And, uh, uh, whatever the outcome is, is whatever happens. And the errors really came into play in the ball game last night on both sides. Um, six unearned runs in total uh, of the 11 runs scored and, and two against you, uh, there in that three run inning. Uh, what went through your mind last night when you got that ground ball from Parker that you're probably looking for, and it goes in and out of the glove of Rue over at third base. And, you know, as a former position player yourself, what goes through your mind in a spot like that? Uh, I saw that off the bat. That was a tough hop. A game kind of an in-between hop. But, uh, I mean, that, that happens. You know, uh, I made a ton of errors. There's, I'm sure there's pitchers out there that want to wring my neck. And um, I, I completely understand. It's part of the game. And, and uh, you know, we ended up winning, which is the most important part. Here with Nick Martinez, starting pitcher last night for the Rough Riders. Uh, you were a good hitter in college. It's not as if uh, you know you came to, as a pitcher because you had trouble hitting the ball like John Edwards, who uh, went through the minor league system and had to convert really by necessity after being released by the Cardinals. Uh, have you lobbied for any sort of pitcher's BP to show off your skills at the plate? Uh, we did have pitcher's BP uh, uh, in Myrtle Beach and uh, when we were in Lynchburg, but uh, I got overshadowed by 
uh, Will Lamb and, and John Edwards out there. Uh, Will Lamb hit 356 in the ACC, and uh, John Edwards was just putting the ball over the wall and making me look bad. <laughs> you, you at least a better contact hitter. You have some bragging rights over him for something? I was spreading the gas, but nothing special. <laughs> uh, what were you expecting when you were getting ready for the draft and uh, you know, eventually taken by the Rangers as a pitcher? Was that surprising to you at all? Did you know you would get taken as a pitcher? What were you expecting in the days leading up to the draft? Uh, well, leading up to the whole year, I've always wanted to be a position player uh, professionally, but uh, um, when it came time to the draft, the area scout at the time, Jay Hefner, uh, strictly told me that the Rangers wanted me as a pitcher, and, and uh, when it comes down to it, I just want to be a professional ball player, and uh, I'll do whatever it takes, and I just happen to be pitching. Were there other teams looking at you p potentially as a position player as well? Uh, there were a few teams, just a couple questionnaires and a couple scout days coming to watch me play, but uh, nothing as serious as the Rangers. So w w at what point... Once you were drafted as a pitcher, did it click in your mind and you said, okay, I'm a pitcher now. This is what I am the rest of the way. This is what I have to be, and you had to just let go of the, the, the mentality of being a position player. Uh, well, first year in rookie ball was a little weird for me. It uh, took a while for me to uh, mentally to accept that I was a pitcher only. I, I played summer ball. I had a summer league contract with the Cape. I was a two-way guy, so I was still hitting even after I got drafted. And uh, once I once I signed my contract and flew out to Arizona, it, it took a while, a couple of weeks or a month, for me to realize that I was strictly a pitcher. Oh, thanks a lot for your time, Nick. Good success so far. Best of luck the rest of the way. All right, thank you. That was Nick Martinez. We'll be back after this on the Frisco Rough Riders Baseball Network.